What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I am back at the store now. We're just waiting for Abby to get here. Um, today is our day off, but we have some interviews scheduled for today, the first four or five. So from basically, I think from this point on, we are not going to talk about anything related to the hiring process other than telling you like, oh, we've got some interviews today. Um, because we don't know who does and who doesn't watch the videos and we don't want anyone to think anything that they shouldn't, basically. So just to keep things to keep things clean and even and, and all that, we're just not going to talk about anything. So if we interview someone that we really, really like, we're not going to tell you guys. Obviously, if we end up hiring them, you'll know and, you know, we'll... That's, you know, that's part of the whole thing. Uh, it's not just working here, but it's, you know, most likely being in the videos as well. Not that they have to be as involved as Ryan is. I'm not going to force people to open up packages on camera if they don't want to, but um, there's no way that I can film every day here at the store and not have the employees be in the videos. It's, <laughs> it's just not possible. So, um Whoever we do end up hiring, we're hoping to hire two to three people part-time. You should be seeing them in the videos. And it sounds like Abby just got here. All right, guys. So we just finished up with five interviews today. This is very exhausting. <laughs> and we're not going to we're not going to be talking about it, like I said. Um, but uh, like we're not going to be talking about the applicants or how well anyone did or anything like that. But what I do want to talk about is... It is so tiring to do interviews like this because we're sitting in these chairs here at the store. I mean, it's, it's, we started doing this at one or the first interview was scheduled for one. It's almost 6 PM now. And we sat in these chairs for all those hours and basically five times repeated the same questions. <laughs> and, you know, there's obviously conversation that's going on. So the answers are different. And, you know, there are some different questions here and there. But for the most part, we're just asking the same stuff over and over. And it's very draining. It's very taxing. So Abby and I are both really tired and we want to we want to go home and relax. But while we were here, we had three packages delivered, which we normally would not have gotten today. They would have usually just come on Thursday. But we have um, we have three of them to open up, so we're gonna do that before we leave. And there's gonna be some really cool stuff in here, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is a box from Canada. Canada. Um. But yeah, um, we're gonna open it now. I don't know if this is is this from your Eva I, purchase? I don't know. Maybe. It's from. Kevin. Why are you saying it like that? K-E-V-E-N. Kevin. Oh, it's Kevin. Uh, it is a box. Oh my gosh. It's very light, so... It's very light. I think there's only going to be, like, one small it thing in there. It said one game. A package inside a package inside of a package. <laughs> There's a outer wrapping, a box, and then this. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is from eBay. Oh, God. It is a copy of Fantasy Star Online episodes two, 1 and 2 plus. For the GameCube. It is not sealed. It's just in a bag. It feels really light. Does it have a manual? No. But no you, manual. you know why I bought it? Why? Because we already have a manual. Oh, do we? Yeah, we do. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, this is like super clean looking. It does look like it was a rental copy. It has a sticker on the disc. But we already have a manual for this. That's why I bought it because this is a very expensive game. This is like a $200 game. And I was able to get it for almost half price because it didn't have a manual. And we already have one. So that's super cool. <laughs> do you want to open this one as well? Yeah, sure. Cool. And then I'll open the third one over there. Okay. This um, one, I'm not sure what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is like a trade-in that we did through like email kind of thing. Yeah, this is from Philip in Mississippi. Um, I don't know if that's Mississippi. MS. 
I'm pretty sure. Might be Missouri. Isn't Missouri MI? I thought that's Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Come on. It does matter. <sighs> MS is Mississippi. Mm. What's Missouri? Mm. MO? MO. The only I, reason I knew. I it. knew... <laughs> oh. There's a note. <gasps> Hey guys, thank you for purchasing my video games. I enjoy the videos. Keep up the good work. I know how hard it is owning your own business coming from an from owning a family business myself. The items on top are free to whoever wants them and, and the, there's empty DS cases. Thank you, Philip. And then he has his information. And then there's a note in here. And Philip, if you're watching this, I also include that note. Uh, it's a little PS about your email. I I have that in my email too. But anyways... We have a Dr. Foo. <laughs> Dr. Foo. <laughs> Dr. Who uh, vinyl figure. Uh, it's a Titans vinyl figure. It looks like there's a weeping angel in the, the police box as well. And then the 10th Doctor and the 11th Doctor. I don't think any of us here are Dr. Who fans, but... I've never watched it. I know it's a really good show, but... Um, I've just never had the time to like sit down and watch it. We have a little wizard Cartman. That's from the Stick of Truth, right? I don't know. It says 2013. Yeah, Stick of Truth. If Ryan doesn't have that, he'll probably like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think these are... I don't know if these are a part of it or not. Oh, he's got his stick. <gasps> that's the Stick of Truth. I, I think that's... Oh, I guess he has two hands, so... There you go. <gasps> Bam. Um, I don't know if these were part of like what you guys agreed on. I didn't see it in the thing, but we have some manuals. Ooh, that one's pretty rough. Uh, Good manual. One. This is Super Metroid poster. It's just a generic poster. Yeah. Super Scope, mouse, ah, paperwork, Super Nintendo, Mario Paint, Super Bases Loaded, another gen like general poster, Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. Two more things. I think this is a Sega. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that these and were then discussed. This is for Super Mario World. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you. And then I believe these are empty because he mentioned these were in there. We have Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, Dragon Quest uh, Nine, and the Mario Kart Seven. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, these are some cool games. Yeah. What do we have? I want this. We have some games. We have... There's something in this, too. Okay. I figured since it's in an extra box, then it's important. <laughs> we have SRS, Street Racing Syndicate. We have CY Girls. Cy Girls. Cy Girls. The Wolf Among Us. Little Big Planet. Somebody messaged us or emailed us one time and they're like, why don't you price these higher? And it's like, because we got 20 copies of it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Rayman Legends. Um, Eco and the Shadow of Colossus collection. I've heard people say Eco and Ikio, and I'm just like, we had somebody say that. Uh, I've heard people say Ico. <laughs> we had, there's a girl and her boyfriend and they were arguing about it. And he was like, it's Ico. And she's like, it's Ikio. And I was just like, oh, I was like, am I wrong? Um, we have The Flame and the Flood. This is a limited run game. We have Metal Gear Survive. Um, Ryan's probably going to get this if he doesn't have it already. He probably has it. Um, we have Payday 2. Mad Max. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Assassin's Creed Origins, and then Plague Road, which is also a limited run game, and I'm going to look up gameplay of this, and I might buy it from the store. So, that might happen. It looks interesting. Plague Road. Now what's in and that then, box? There's a box. That's it. Open it. All over. No more. Don't cut towards your hand. <laughs> Abby stabbed herself in the hand one time with a steak knife, and I had to take her to the ER, and she had to get stitches in her palm because her tissue was coming out. 
Okay, and that's because I was being dumb about that though. That was far different of a situation. Abby had some frozen hamburger patties and she was holding them with her bare hand and then trying to stick a knife in between them to break okay. them apart. I wasn't thinking, first of all, I don't know what exactly was going on through my mind. And then Cooper's like, you don't need stitches. And I was like, I bet I'm going to need two stitches. And then I needed two stitches. Um, we have Chippendale Rescue Rangers with a sneeze. And we have two disc only games. Um, oh, three. There's two in one of these. And that is True Crime and Soul Calibur 2. They are For the pretty, cube. They're pretty scratched on the bottom, but those all look fixable. And then the most expensive one. This has some top scratches, which doesn't matter in GameCube games as long as the scratch isn't like in the disc in the disc. Uh, if it's in the artwork, it's not a big deal because the data is not stored under the artwork. And that is Pokemon Coliseum. And as you can see, it's right here. Yeah, um, that's not that's not too bad though. But... For GameCube discs are like the they're like the dual layer ones, right? So the the data is like in the middle of the disc, yeah. not not right under the top. This works perfectly fine. Yeah, this is our tester. We this use this tester. to to test controllers all the it, time it won't work on somebody's uh system who has like a dying laser um, that, that's also the one that was in the gamecube kiosk here that people played on every single day yeah and then we <laughs> have a we have a super uh mario sunshine that also looks very similar to this and that was also in our uh gamecube kiosk but yeah uh the data for gamecube games is like like halfway through the disc right here that's why you can over resurface it really easily because it'll eat through the data and that's why, like, if you ever see, like, the artwork cracking, that's just the acrylic paint from the heat of the system. It really, it happens a lot with Metal Gear Solid, um, Tales of Symphonia, and Super Mario Sunshine. Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia as well. Um, and did I say we, Metal Gear Solid already? Yeah, we have it. Actually, one of the games we just got in has it. I can't remember. It was one of the, the wrestling games. It's, yeah, it's, it must be in the glass case. That, but That's just the artwork. The data is not stored the same on GameCube games like it is on CD and DVD based stuff. And then with your Blu-ray disc, the data is stored throughout the disc. And that's why you can't resurface them a whole lot. And it takes a special attachment, which we can do now. Yeah, um, we can do Blu-ray. But yeah, Blu-ray Blu is five are... Abby can't talk today. By far the most finicky. Um, and then GameCube is following second up but yeah yeah we got one more package hmm. my turn oh, do we? yeah what you got a box from where i told you guys that we had some stuff coming from another game store they were liquidating some stuff clearing out their back stock and we have a bunch of nes games coming <gasps> oh that's what this is i believe this is the first box because so far i've ordered three three boxes like this i've only paid for two of them so far but because they're gonna be doing some more see look cooper paid that's me all right so these are mostly going to be filler titles which is what we need but there's a couple better ones in here as well so let me get all of this out of here first <clears throat> And I'll just say that these were bought from a game store in Canada, but yeah. these deals are not, the deal that we got on this is not necessarily open or available to just like general cost customers. We bought these bulk. Yeah. And so this was a special situation that was offered to us. So we have Dragon Warrior, Deadly Towers, Deadly Towers, Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum, Demon Sword, Desert Commander, Ice Hockey, Double Dragon, Dr. Chaos, Dirty Harry, John Elway's Quarterback Club, Double Dribble with some plastic rattling, Jaws, Bases Loaded, Destination Earth Star, Double Dragon 2, Destination Earth Star. See, here's a better one Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. This is like a $20, $25 game. Mm, when's the last time you checked the price on that? Last time we had one months ago. Elevator action, F-17A stealth fighter. You should make a new stack. I will. Jeopardy Junior Edition, Jeopardy 25th Anniversary, Jordan vs. Bird, Jackal, Bases Loaded, Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf, Faxanadu, NES Play Action Football, Friday the 13th, The Secret Scroll Flying Dragon, 
those are all the top layer ones. And then we have Goal, Ghostbusters 2, and Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke seems like one of like a more uncommon game. And then Duck Hunt, Dragon Spirit, and Ghostbusters. Freedom Force, Flight of the Intruder, and Fester's Quest. WWF WrestleMania, WCW World Championship Wrestling, World Cup, Nintendo World Cup, World GP. Oh, that World GP. That's rough. Wizards and Warriors, Wheel of Fortune, and Xenophobe. Yo Noid, Videomation, Volleyball, WrestleMania Challenge, Where's Waldo? We had a customer who was looking for Yo, Yo Noid for like like seven months remember it's not even a rare game no but we never got it in and he didn't like buying it online win loser draw where in time is carmen san diego it's got stickers on the front wild gunman wolverine it's a better one wrestlemania xanak so does revenge star tropics 2 fax anadu freedom force flintstones rescue of dino and hoppy flying dragon secret scroll Galaga, Friday the 13th. It's Secret Scroll. I thought it was Secret Squirrel for a long no. time. Oh. Uh, Fighting Golf and Fester's Quest. There's Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Hmm. That's a rare game. Where's Waldo? WrestleMania, rough. Steel Cage Challenge, and Wrecking Crew. That's a better one. Exodus Ultima. Tennis. Top Gun, Terminator 2, Ninja Turtles, Top Gun, The Uncanny X-Men, Zexies, Xevious, there's two copies. Ooh, that's Sun Vader. Another Zexies, and Monopoly. Wheel of Fortune Family Edition, World Champ, Nintendo World Cup, Winter Games, and another Wrecking Crew. And then the last little stack... We have Ex Exodus Ultima, F-15 Strike Eagle, Urban Champion, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego, Werewolf, which is a cool one to see. We don't get that game very often. Wrath of the Black Manta, and Wheel of Fortune Junior Edition with what no a, end label. What a great note to end on. Yeah. So that is the first of three box so far. First of three boxes so far. Um, the first three boxes are all going to be NES, and then... There is a potential for some other stuff as well. We're looking at PS1 for sure, because we need it. And People then, aren't trying to get in. Well, we're closed. If they have it, though, um, Super Nintendo and 64, not sure if they have enough of that to do bulk like this. But uh, we're definitely going to be doing, obviously, the NES and then hopefully some PS1. So, I'm tired. Me too. Let's go home. Okay. Bye. All right, guys. Holy crap. I just filmed my pickup video, and I don't know how long it is yet. Um, I had to film the first part on my phone upstairs because there wasn't enough room down here for everything. Film the second part uh, down here, obviously. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. So you guys are going to be getting an extremely long pickup video. Who knows how long, but I need to, you know, get this thing edited, obviously. Turn the camera off there. Um... Before I go upstairs and start editing not only this vlog, but also the pickup video, I'm going to try to put away as much stuff as I can, which it's not going to be that much because the shelves are really, really full and I can't really fit much else. Um, so I'm going to, you know, do what I can. But uh, once we move and we get the new game room set up, it's going to be so nice. It's going to be so awesome. Even if it's not that much bigger than where what we have right now, just having a you know a blank space to work with, I'll be able to sort and organize things a lot better as I go, rather than trying to fit more stuff in a room that's already packed. So hopefully we can find a spot that's way way bigger. Um, you know that's what we need <laughs> if we want to continue adding to this collection. But um, either way, I'm super excited to move. I'm super excited for this video. Hope you guys are excited for it. It's going to be a super super long one. Abby made a ham, 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 ham. Abby made a ham, 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 ham.
Cooper was downstairs filming the pickup video and I just like FaceTimed him and I faced the camera at the ham and he's like, oh. he's like, I'm coming. <laughs> It's so good. This is the ham from Butcher Boys, and... This one's a little bit different. The other one was a bone-in. This is not a bone-in, so... Mm. It's a little different, but I use the same glaze. The last time you made it was for Christmas or Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Mm. It was so good. But it's done. She just keeps basting it with the juices. Yeah. Okay, I want some. Okay.